your responses or questions. And can I first first ask uh, the Commission, uh, Valdis or Pierre, to uh, give their headlines? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Yaron. Well, the uh, Commission uh, has uh, carefully reviewed the reform proposal sent yesterday to the uh, President of Eurogroup. And uh, this has been preceded by uh, constructive exchanges uh, over the weekend between the, uh, between the Greek authorities and the uh, uh, European Commission and also other uh, institutions. So, in the view of the Commission, this list is sufficiently comprehensive to be a valid starting point for a successful conclusion of the review, as called for by the Eurogroup at its last uh, meeting. Uh, let me stress, uh, however, that the list does not include sufficient detail to allow us to assess each specific measure and how that impacts on a budget or on the overall program targets. Further specification of the reforms in these and other key areas uh, is expected to be provided and agreed before the end of uh, April. This is also in line with the last week's uh, Eurogroup uh, statement. Uh, we consider the Eurogroup statement of the last Friday as a basis. Michael Noonan. Uh, it is therefore regulatable that the... Uh, Has entered the conference. ...that the letter by the Minister does not uh, directly refer to the commitments in this uh, statement, uh, such as, for example, to deliver primary surpluses and financing proceeds required to guarantee debt sustainability in line with November 2012 Eurogroup statement. Uh, we also find it rather unusual that the letter is not formally signed and does not refer to any actual government decision in this context. So the legal status of the letter is therefore not fully uh, clear. Uh, importantly, this list does not substitute in any view the Memorandum of Understanding, which constitutes the official legal basis for the program underpinning the Master Financial Assistance Facility Agreement. It is also important to recall that the Greek authorities have committed to refrain from any rollback of measures and unilateral changes to the policies and structural reforms that would negatively impact fiscal targets economic recovery or financial stability as assessed by the institutions. Uh, any policy initiatives, therefore, should be discussed ex ante with the three institutions. And now I would ask Pierre to uh, elaborate uh, further on some critical uh, details. Uh, okay, colleagues, um, in general, I would say we are encouraged by a number of commitments in particular to combat the tax evasion and corruption. Uh, in earlier through um, efforts to modernize tax and customs administration, as well as to pursue reform to modernize the public administration. However, we uh, must be, I uh, think, realistic, and this has to be discussed, about how fast these reforms can deliver results. Uh, there are other areas where the Commission believes that more must be done, including the, the area of statistics, where we consider uh, it of vital importance that the institutional and operational independence of LSTAT and it's only acted uh, at all times. Uh, the new government must uh, take uh, immediate visible steps to show its determination for a change in this area. We believe a revision of the legal framework is uh, needed. Oh. In other areas, urgent intervention. Uh, in other Has entered the conference. Urgent intervention and immediate decisions ought to be taken. Uh, as the uncertainty of the past weeks has been uh, damaging and disruptive. First, in the financial sector, uh, we believe the uh, government must reiterate as soon as possible in a very clear manner uh, the key pillars of reform as agreed under the MOU uh, to settle the markets and depositors. Uh, similarly, on taxation and installments, the government must take urgent action uh, to clarify its intentions so that taxpayers uh, begin to pay again taxes and social security contributions and decisions should be taken uh, swiftly in full uh, consultation with the three institutions. Uh, second, on privatization, um, our feeling is that the government should instruct the agency to proceed with the ongoing tenders also swiftly. So uh, the Commission uh, looks forward to, to, to working with the new administration to, to elaborate 
what uh, are still at the moment general commitments and transform these into uh, clear policy actions. We'd also like to underline our willingness to continue to provide uh, technical assistance in key areas to, to assist in the design and, and implementation of policies. Uh, to sum up, I won't be longer. Uh, in the view of the Commission, this list is sufficiently comprehensive to be a, a valid starting point for a, a successful conclusion of the review. It is not at all something that means that the review is concluded or, or on the way to be concluded. Um, and I think this was uh, what we were asked by the Eurogroup, and our answer is clear on that point. Thank you very much, Valdez uh, and Pierre. Uh, let me turn to the uh, ECB. Mario? Yes, thanks, Jeroen. Thank you. As, uh, as we've discussed, uh, in such short time, it was certainly not possible for the authorities to come up with their own list of concrete proposals and commitments which would allow us, the institutions, but especially ECB, to assess the impact on growth, public finances, and financial stability. I note that the commitments outlined by the authorities differ from existing program commitments in a number of areas. But having said that, the list sent by the Greek authorities covers a wide range of reform areas, and in this sense is sufficiently comprehensive to be a valid starting point for a successful conclusion of the review. Now let me make a few additional remarks. We understand consistently with the Eurogroup decision last Friday that the list doesn't call into question that the current arrangement and thus existing commitments in the current MOU and MEFP are the basis for the review. In cases where the list deviates from the MEFP and the MOU, we will assess during the review whether measures which are not accepted by the authorities are replaced with measures of equal or better quality in terms of achieving the objectives of the program. We would appreciate if the Greek authorities would make very clear in public that there will be no rolling back of existing reforms or commitments in any of the areas mentioned in their list. Any new measures or laws in these areas will only be implemented once agreed with the three institutions. Unfortunately, we still we continue to hear conflicting messages between the communication to the Greek general public and the, and the commitments to this group. Second point concerns the payment culture. The list we are discussing today was not used for this purpose. In the coming days, we would expect very clear statements from the highest levels that contrary to previous announcements, first, there will be no initiatives by the government on broadening or relaxing installment schemes, and that measures to strengthen tax enforcement and payment discipline will urgently be discussed with the three institutions. Unfortunately, even this morning, we are hearing conflicting message from Athens. Second, there will be no new moratorium on auctioning of residences, nor any other restrictions, which makes it difficult for banks to effectively work out the NPLs. I think it should be in the interest of Greece, first and foremost, to have a viable credit system. If banks are not viable, they won't give any credit. I made this point several times. There will also be no initiative for any general or horizontal debt relief for private creditors. I mean, uh, Jeroen, with your agreement, I would like to make a point on the difference between the Eurogroup statement and uh, the this, uh, this statement here about the FSF bonds for bank recapitalization. Can I make it now? Well, either, either now or... Uh, discuss it further in the Euro Working Group on Thursday. Uh, you raised the issue with me when we spoke. It may be useful to return to it in the Euro Working Group. As I said, we among each other were very clear on how the decisions on the use of the HFF bonds uh, would take place. It would, be, it would take place on the basis of the ECB SSM decision. They are the ones who trigger 
the use of these funds uh, for recapitalization purposes. Uh, that's what we agreed in the Eurogroup. Uh, any further debate on that issue, I think, should be should take place in the Euro Working Group, if that's all right. Thank you, Jeroen. So I, I understand that the draft amendment of the Master Financial Assistance Facility Agreement that has circulated yesterday will be in line with the statements agreed on Friday. Yes, and if anyone has any further comments on that, I think it should take place in your working group. Uh, okay, thank you. Then for me, if I have this assurance, there is no need to raise this point. Thank you. Then I'm finished. Sorry, may I, may I, can I take this point? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, I would be, I, I, it must be totally clear, because I will it will create uh, incredible problems in my parliament. We have in, in no way any amendment to the given agreement. We have stated in, on, on, on Friday um, on to the HFSF uh, problems that will only be released on request by the, on request by the ECB SSM. That means the, the last decision has to be taken by the institution in the, in, in the uh, EFSF. Otherwise, it would be a change of the of the um, of the treaty of the mem MOU, and that is not what we can go to, to Parliament. We are going for an extension, but not for any change in the Parliament. Therefore, my 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 demand is only don't create a discussion or misunderstanding that there will be any amendment uh, to the to the given agreement. Um, don't worry, uh, Wolfgang, there will be no changes or amendments to the statement we reached on Friday. In that particular sentence, there are two aspects. One is, as you said, that it's, uh, the release of these funds will be on request by the SSM. Uh, but you can also read, they will be released on request by the SSM. In other words, formally there may be a decision to be taken. Uh, but they will be released on request by the SSM. In other words, if the SSM finds it necessary, this recapitalization, the funds will be released. Uh, so there are both aspects in one sentence. Um, we're not going to change the statement. That would cause a lot of problems, of course. Uh, if anyone wants further clarification, I think it should take place in the Euro Working Group. It'll be about procedures, but not about the political decision we took. Um, I may continue. I would like to uh, ask uh, Christine for her assessment. Thank you very much, Jeroen, and good afternoon to all of you. I will not repeat the content of the letter that we issued last night. I could uh, literally endorse and adopt all the points made by Mario, except the last one, which is uh, separate. The two points that I will come back to, to insist upon, is number one, that the discussions on completion of the review, which should start as soon as possible and for which we are ready, to be successful cannot be merely confined within the policy perimeters outlined in the governance list. And I think the reference to the MOU and the MEFP by Mario was particularly relevant. The second concern that I have, which was also mentioned by, by Mario, is the constant and recurring noise that we hear from Athens and which um, echo around the world in a way that is inconsistent with what is indicated in the memorandum of the list issued by the Greek authorities. And there is real constant reference to backtracking that includes expectation of impending changes to the pension scheme that backtrack on policy commitments, as well as changes to the general tax uh, debt installment schemes that already have uh, weakened uh, the revenue collection by the Greek authorities. So, Yanis, if you're with, with us on the call, I would urge you to reduce that noise and to make very clear that there is one single list and not a Greek list separate from your list. Finally, I think it would be extremely helpful, certainly from our perspective, if uh, 
Yanis could explain to all of us the government's current liquidity position as well as how it is proposed to move forward. With that, as I said, uh, we stand ready and we are eager to uh, begin the real work, which will not be about putting uh, words on, on paper, which we were not associated to over the weekend, but that's fine. But clearly, the actual review work now needs to begin. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Um, I would now like to turn to Jonas to pick up on a, a couple of points raised. Uh, I think we all fully understand that the detailed work has yet to begin. Uh, we must also fully understand that all the legal documents and the basis for the program for support is unchanged until further um, works out, detailed, discussed and agreed with the institutions. So that's the basis on which we uh, work. Uh, Jonas, can I ask you to react on a couple of issues raised by uh, Mario and the Commission, uh, Christine? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, uh, Jeroen. Let me, however, begin by thanking um, you, as the President of the Eurogroup, for your role in helping establish the necessary common ground to reach where we are at present. I also want, want to thank the institutions for uh, um, the constructive relationship we had over the last 48 hours and for so swiftly uh, reading our list and coming to the verdict or the recommendation that you have come. Uh, I do believe and the government believes here in Athens that we now have a firm basis on which to build the solid agreement and uh, for the next four months at least and uh, work towards uh, the review. Let me now uh, do as uh, you said, Jeroen, uh, and address uh, some specific issues that were mentioned. Um, there are some minor issues which we can deal with very, very swiftly. That the letter wasn't signed, it was sent uh, at midnight. So um, there were technical issues involved there that we can deal with that. This is a, a response to the, uh, one of the Commission's points. Um, the question of uh, no unilateral moves and the need to collaborate with institutions in everything we do has been mentioned by all three institutions. I shall convey this view to my government. It is our in, uh, intention not to make any such moves as we have stated in our letter to the Eurogroup. We have uh, every intention to collaborate with institutions and to make sure that whatever we introduce in Parliament um, whatever measures are um, discussed and uh, deployed uh, should be discussed and deployed in conjunction with agreement with the institutions. Um, Pierre Moscovici mentioned uh, ELSTAT, the Greek Statistics Office, uh, and suggested that there should be no revision of the legal um, framework and the autonomy. We understand perfectly well the need not to return to the bad old days of Greek statistics and we as a government have absolutely no intention whatsoever of interfering with the work of Elstat. But let me say that uh, th th this kind of autonomy has to cut both ways in the sense that both the Eurostat and the Greek government and every member state and all the institutions must have um, confidence in the workings of Elstat. At the moment, I cannot tell you that I do. That is a separate issue from uh, keeping Elstat at an arm's length from government. What I would like to do is discuss with institutions and with Eurostat ways in which we can regain confidence in Elstat. But that is completely separate from the point that Pierre Moscovici made. I, I shall reiterate the point. We shall, under no circumstances, uh, do anything to jeopardize the autonomy of Elstat. Uh, and we shall do nothing without the consent of the Commission, of the IMF, of the ECB, uh, of the Eurogroup in this direction. But I do believe, this is the, the view that some of us in this government have, who've looked into the way operation of Elstat over the last few months, that we need uh, for all of us together to have another look at the way that Elstat functions. Uh, but again, let me make it this very clear. This is not something we intend to do alone, we want to do it in conjunction with you. Regarding the financial sector, 
and tax compliance. This is a, a point that each one of you made, each one of the institutions made. Uh, there is um, lack of trust regarding installment schemes. Let me remind you that this installment scheme that is now on the statutes in, here in Greece was introduced by the previous government. And I do believe that uh, the institutions had uh, objections to that. We are happy to look at these uh, installment schemes together with, our, with, with institutions and with all our partners. There is a very crucial problem here. The, 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 the level of arrears, uh, tax arrears, as you probably all know, reaches 90% of the Greek government budget. Now, that is a huge amount that has to do with, is a result of the deep crisis of this uh, social economy. And we need to deal with this, and we need to deal effectively with it by ensuring that whatever it is that we do does not encourage, indeed punishes, strategic non-payment, while at the same time finds ways of dealing with dealing, of giving those who can afford to pay a portion only of what they owe, a way of doing this, especially given the current state of our financial situation. Um, on the NPLs, and I take very seriously what Mario Draghi and the ECB are saying about the need to um, ensure that the capitalization of banks is not threatened by uh, our policies regarding um, NPLs, Again, it is important to note that we have very special circumstances in Greece. We shall not do, make any um, uh, unilateral move on this, and of course we need to have the backing of the ECB in everything we do. But let me, since we are talking about this, let me point out that, that there are special circumstances. We have a real estate market that has tanked, and the notion that we are going to have uh, auctions of first residences in order to bolster the capitalization of the banks is one that uh, that needs to be discussed and uh, we need to discuss it with you this is not a venue to do it but there are serious worries that we have that a, a massive increase in auctions uh, in a tanking market is not going to help the banks while at the same time is going to create side effects in the capacity of the social economy both to increase uh, uh, the tax take of the government and uh, to increase economic activity. But let me say that uh, this government is determined to discuss with the institutions and reach common agreement with them on how to deal with these, with these matters. Now, on the question that Mario Draghi raised regarding the EFSF and the HFSF, uh, let me just state it um, for the record to rest everyone, uh, rest assured everyone, that this government is not going to request for an amendment of the Friday Eurogroup agreement. Um, we are more than happy to go along with that agreement and to see the FSF retain the control of the remaining funds in order to use them for the purposes of recapitalization of the banking sector and resolution, possible resolution. Um, on, the, on the question of uh, a rollback, especially when it comes to privatizations, um, on, on this matter, as you will see from, uh, from the relevant entry in our list, we have uh, made it very clear that completed, uh, um, completed um, uh, privatizations are going to be considered to be sacrosanct from this government. The ones that have been launched will be dealt with in accordance to the law and in ways that uh, combine the public interest with the need, the necessity of collaborating with the institutions and with the Eurogroup. Let me finish by uh, addressing uh, Christine Lagarde's two points. The first one is an assurance that I can give Christine and everybody in this conference call that there exists no separate Greek list, separate from the one you have. Of course, as you can imagine, our, this list is only uh, a five-page document. Uh, we have uh, um, a series of uh, commitments to the Greek public. We shall not make any moves, as I said before, that uh, undermine the bonds of trust that we're trying to build currently. Um, but there is no such thing as a separate Greek list. There may be different interpretations, 
of uh, the current uh, state of negotiation, of uh, exchange between us, of commitment. And let me just make this, this point a bit more tangible. I heard from all three institutions the statement that um, this list is not a replacement of the MOU and that this list is going to simply be grafted upon the MOU or we will have to negotiate ways in which the current MOU will have to be amended. Now, as you know, we've spent three Eurogroups discussing the imperative of combining the existing program with uh, the new government's priorities. And I've, I've, I'm, I was under the impression, and this government was under the impression, that we're making a fresh start without challenging the legal existence of the MOU. We shall insist on maintaining in a collegial manner this uh, constructive ambiguity um, and we are going to try do, to do our, uh, our best in order to ensure that the review is completed on the understanding that this government's um, um, list that you have in front of you is taken um, as the starting point regarding the, the judgment that is going to be passed upon us over the next four months. The next four months is a very short space of time. If we can do what we agree that we should do by April um, and do it in the spirit that, con that confirms both the existing program and the intention of moving on and moving ahead and moving to a new relationship after June, I think that will be an excellent way of moving ahead. I was asked also by Christine Lagarde to explain the liquidity condition of the government. I'm not in a, in, 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 uh, in a position to do this presently. Uh, the, as, you, as everybody knows, especially the International Monetary Fund, uh, our liquid, liquidity condition, given the destabilization of the Greek economy over the last two months, uh, is not good at all. But my understanding was that today what we are doing is we are setting the scene establishing the base, the foundation, for beginning immediate discussions on all those matters, including the fiscal gap that we're facing over the next few weeks, in particular the repayments of the IMF loans uh, and installments, which are coming up soon. Um, it was a discussion we couldn't have until today's hurdle has been overcome, but it is a discussion that we are prepared to begin even tonight, if you so wish. Um, I think I've spoken enough. I want to thank once more the institutions. The way I understand this conference call is to answer the question whether our list is sufficiently comprehensive to act as the starting point of a process that will stabilize Greece and our relationship with uh, the Eurogroup and the institutions in order to build trust and to move ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Yannis. Um, let me, before uh, opening uh, the, the, the floor to other ministers, uh, reiterate that the basis that we are working on is the Eurogroup statement, which um, uh, talks about, on the basis of the framework of the existing arrangements, uh, underpinned by a set of commitments which are then spelled out. And I think one of the key ones there is that, starting from the current arrangement, uh, there can be use of the given flexibility, but it has to be always uh, after consulting and agreeing with the institutions any changes uh, to the arrangements. I think that's a, that's a key issue, and you also underlined the, uh, uh, how uh, the Greek government is committed on this point. Um, on top of that, we now have the list which is a first list of reform measures based on the current arrangement. And the institutions have provided us with their first views, which um, uh, was, uh, if I summarize it, that the list is sufficiently comprehensive to be a valid starting point for a successful conclusion of the review. Um, I think those are the key uh, elements. This is where we are. This is how uh, we will work. And all of this, if the national procedures are started and successfully um, finished by the end of the week, then very intensively the work can start on many of the issues that were brought up uh, and uh, many of the issues that you mentioned, uh, Yanis. Um, 
Now I'd like to. Your own, your own. Can, I, can I just come in for a, a, a few seconds to uh, reinforce your point and also mention, just for the clarity of what we're doing in the next few days, that the review is a comprehensive review. It cannot be a scattered, fragmented review of some items and not others. So it has to be comprehensive in order to lead to success and then disbursement. But it's comprehensive. That's right. Thank you for your remark. Um, the floor is to the ministers. Who can I give the floor? Uh, if I may, uh, uh, Jerome, if I may, I can, I can say a few words. Yes, please, Wolfgang. I would uh, uh, just uh, uh, thank to the institution for this uh, first uh, view on, on, on the list, which we got uh, in time uh, from Greek authorities. And therefore, we are in line uh, with the statement from Friday, and that is uh, the key. And on this, on this basis, I think... Uh, it would be it would be very helpful uh, that we will not uh, uh, change anything that I just mentioned in the HFSF. Uh, and it must be totally clear what we are asking our parliaments is an extension of the given agreement, nothing else, not an amendment of the agreement. Uh, it has to be uh, very clear. We will do it. I have uh, already initiated the, uh, the, the legislation procedures. I need, to, of course. Um, uh, uh, the, the common decision of the Euro Group in this conference call, but I think on the, on, in, on the basis of the list we got from from, from Greek authorities uh, and uh, with, with with the use of the three institutions, uh, we should uh, we should move on in this way. I would uh, I think so, but I would like to 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 add uh, add two remarks um, in in this. Um, in the, in, the, in the Greek list, there has not been mentioned. It's not uh, not a must that it must be, but I want I like to repeat it. Uh, the crucial issue of the budget 2015. That is a, a major issue for the, for the ongoing review uh, for the, for a successful conclusion of the program. And then I would like uh, to add uh, that in the list of the of the uh, Greek authorities, the BRD implementation is not mentioned, and I think. Uh, Greece uh, should transpose this uh, directive into Greek law as a matter of high priority. And last, uh, last remark, uh, in the area of labor market reforms, the issue of collective dismissals is not yet addressed. It's also a thing which should be have in mind until the, uh, the end of April, when we will, when, when that is the time in which the list will be further specified and then agreed with the institutions. Uh, but once again, uh, if it is clear on this basis, we could uh, agree to a common statement that on the line of this first view, on the basis of this first view of the three institutions, uh, we would uh, uh, go on in the national uh, uh, procedures to, to agree on an extension of the program in this week. Thank you, Walker. Um, I think on the issue of the budget of 15, uh, the statement uh, made quite clear where we stand in terms of the fiscal targets, uh, the Friday statement, and the other two issues will have to be uh, picked up in the process in the coming weeks, um, and the same would go for the uh, collective uh, uh, dismissals. If any changes there would uh, be wanted or necessary or required, then it would have to be in the context of uh, changes to the MOU, which can only be decided together with the institution at the latest end of April. Um, any other comments or questions from the Ministry? Uh, Janis wants to speak. Yes, Janis. Thank you, Jeroen. Uh, I would like to thank uh, institutions uh, for a great job, and uh, I agree with all uh, uh, ministers and institutions. I would like uh, to add only one thing that uh, uh, that for the sake of integrity of Eurozone and uh, EU, all program uh, countries should be uh, treated equally, and I hope that it will be. And I would, la uh, I would uh, like to ask uh, some uh, help uh, uh, from, uh, from Yanis. Uh, from Yanis. Uh, Yanis, help us please to keep in calm our public uh, opinion and our public opinion. And 
uh, don't push us to uh, answer uh, your uh, your uh, signals from Greece, uh, because it's it's not uh, fair that uh, uh, we sit in one room and uh, decided about one, and uh, then we get uh, uh, opinion uh, in uh, 180. Uh, degrees, uh, degrees, and uh, I think it's not uh, not uh, fair. And our uh, we have uh, we have electors too in our countries, and uh, uh, we should something tell them. And uh, please uh, help uh, us to <laughs> keep in calm uh, on this situation. Thank you. Thank you, Anis. Um I think uh, your point on helpful communication is uh, made by all of us, also um, uh, the institutions refer to it. It will be very helpful for the credible of the whole process that we are now entering, that we communicate uh, in one way uh, and not differently in Europe uh, as uh, at home. Uh, I think that's a, a very valid point to make. Uh, any other? Jerome, this is Luis. Luis, go ahead. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, let me thank the institutions, uh, despite the fact that, uh, you know, these are the endorsements with more caveats I have heard in my life. Huh? <laughs> well, uh, I think that perhaps it's an indication of, uh, you know, a high level of skepticism, huh? but I think that is something that is relevant. But anyhow, I would like to stress two points. The first one is that we are starting a process, huh? and this is something that is, uh, you know, quite, uh, quite relevant because uh, uh, you know, we'll have to finalize uh, in April a new memorandum that will be based in the in the present arrangement. And this is something that uh, I think that we have to, to, to maintain and to keep it very clear. Hmm? And the second one is about uh, communication. I fully agree with Yanis that uh, to be coherent, uh, you know, it's good in life. You know, schizophrenic approaches uh, only create problems you now in terms of communication. So it will be, uh, you know, extremely important that, uh, you know, uh, all the all the messages are fully aligned with the process that we have uh, started now, and that uh, you know this is the beginning of the of the of the process, and that uh, creating unnecessary noise is not going to be very helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you, Luis. Uh, any other colleagues? <coughs> um, Hello. Hello. Who's here? Hello. Yes. Oh, it's Michael. Michael, go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to welcome the work of the institutions also, like other colleagues have done. Uh, when I saw the Greek list, I was disappointed. I thought it lacked specifics, and there's no arithmetic underpinning it. Uh, but in the context of what we're seeking is an extension to the existing program, and any substitution of conditions uh, would have to be fully costed and uh, fully vouched for by uh, the institutions, uh, then I'm, I'm prepared to uh, wait and see and go ahead with the process. Uh, but I can see uh, some difficulties at the end of the process for a successful review of the program. But that being said, I won't, uh, I won't divide the meeting. Thank you, Michael. I think it's uh, fair to remember that um, this was only a first list of reform measures from the Greek authorities which we asked, and it's not been uh, elaborated on, not been uh, negotiated on uh, with the uh, institutions. So it is what it is, uh, and the question was formulated by the Eurogroup whether it was um, compre sufficiently comprehensive. So I think that's where we stand, and the, the real negotiations and the Getting the details right uh, is a long process that's yet to start. Uh, any other colleagues at this point? Yaron, it's Maria Louise. Can I ask a question? Uh, it's um, and hi everyone. I'd also like to echo um, uh, thanking the institutions for the this first assessment, and I'm sure we will all, all have a lot to discuss in uh, in the coming weeks and months. But uh, um, getting to the point uh, that several colleagues raised, communication is critical here. So uh, maybe you were going to say it anyway, but uh, I think that we should have an agreement here on what to communicate as well the 
letters of assessment of the institution be made public? Uh, will there be a statement of today's meeting? How do you intend to, uh, to communicate going forward? Because we have the whole press waiting to hear what comes out of this, uh, of this conference call. Thank you. Um, Marie Louise, thanks. That, uh, that was my, the last uh, item on my agenda today to talk about communication. So let me come back to that in a minute and just check if there are any more uh, comments on the list and the Commission's first, uh, sorry, the institution's first view on the list. Uh, if not, we can turn to communication issues. One is that your question, what is public or going to be made public? I think the your room? Yeah. Your room. Before, before, just just to get uh, make sure that I have understood, do I understand that uh, the Friday's agreement will be in fully respected? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank, thank you. I'm not going to change a single word. Um, um, the first question by Maria Louise was, what documents will be made public? The Commission has made its letter on the list public. I don't think the other two institutions have done the same, so perhaps they can indicate whether they want to make it public or not. Uh, and Yanis, perhaps you can indicate whether your list is made public or will be made public or how would you like to proceed with that? Uh, can I ask Mario first? Yes, yeah, certainly. We can make it public. No problem. Okay, thank you. Christine? Yeah, we can make it public too. We thought it would be polite for the group to wait until the conference call was over. Indeed, thank you. Jan? Yes, uh, we would very much like to make our list public. Uh, for some reason it has already been made public, even though it certainly did not uh, leak from our side. Um, but l if I may say on the question of communication, uh, Jeroen, that uh, my, the view that Louis uh, expressed is the one that we can run with uh, very happily and uh, profitably, and that is that from our perspective we see today as the beginning of a new process that we very much look, for, look forward to completing in association with our partners and institutions. Thank you. Um, and colleagues, uh, as we are speaking, uh, there is a very short Eurogroup statement, a draft, which is being sent to uh, your deputies. It should come in uh, any minute. Uh, it, re it uses exactly the words of Friday's statement, uh, and it sounds like this. The Eurogroup today discussed the first list of reform measures presented by the Greek authorities based on the current arrangement which will be sp further specified and then agreed but with the institutions at the latest by the end of April. The institutions provided us with their first view that they consider this list of measures to be sufficiently comprehensive to be a valid starting point for a successful conclusion of the review. We therefore agreed to proceed with the national procedures with a view to reaching the final decision on the extension by up to four months of the current Master Financial Assistance Facility Agreement. We call on the Greek authorities to further develop and broaden the list of reforms measures in close coordination with the institutions in order to allow for a speedy conclusion, I should say a speedy and successful conclusion of the review. So that is the draft statement. It should uh, come in, uh, in, in your deputies email boxes perhaps you can uh, look at it for a minute and I would ask for reactions Jeroen I'm quite happy this is Yanis Varoufakis I'm quite happy to accept it just from having heard it thank you Yeah, on, uh, I have one, one suggestion. In the last uh, paragraph, it says, 
We call on the Greek authorities to further develop and broaden the list of reform measures based on current arrangements. Okay. On the current arrangements. Uh, it will become the list of reform measures based on current arrangements. That is the yeah. on which we work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other comments from colleagues? If not, I think that uh, we can use this and we'll put that out um, uh, shortly after this uh, conference call. Um, any other business? Let's see. Um, I think uh, there is a Euro working group on Thursday, the regular meeting on Thursday. Uh, we can take stock of uh, national consultations. They may not all be finalized by then, but just to take stock and uh, talk about the further procedures for the EFSF Board of Directors. Um, and they can, will in the end take the formal uh, decision uh, following the Euro Working Group meeting and once the national procedures have been concluded, of course. At our next meeting, uh, which is the 9th of March, we will again take uh, stock of the developments in Athens and, of course, in the meantime, I invite institutions and the Greek authorities to continue their work. Thanks again for all the hard work that has been done over the last couple of days. But to continue their work uh, that would allow for a successful conclusion of the review as soon as possible. Um, if no other comments, then I think I can thank everyone for joining this meeting and I will close this Eurogroup meeting. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.